Paroshi. Okay. Srana, okay. Okay. Good morning internet, it is 7 past 9 in the morning and welcome back to the channel. Now the breakfasts that I've been getting lately are just getting better and better. Have a look at this. So there are all sorts of cheeses and meats, different kinds of bread, some salads, egg, homemade uh, strawberry jam and I think this is apricot, uh, some yogurt, or oh, dessert. Uh, this is uh, also, I think, apricots and berry juice, coffee, tea, and they gave me even a little bag that if I want to take something with me for today, I can take some. So, it's absolutely amazing breakfast, and look at this view. So, yeah, this is an amazing place that I'm staying. After I finish my breakfast, I will show you a little bit around. I've been here for two days now just working on some videos, relaxing, getting laundry done, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but today I'm leaving again. After breakfast I will also show you on the map where I'm going. Uh, it's gonna be a full day I think, so breakfast first. So I just wanted to show you this place because I think this is the, <laughs> the best place I ever stayed. That they have a swimming pool and then yesterday I was working on my laptop up here you also have a really nice view good morning <laughs> look at that and then basanti is over here see there are other uh, overlanders and there's basanti another motorbike so yeah loads of travelers which is super cool see and there's also some people camping you can hear the water from here. So yeah, it was really funny because the owners are Dutch. So it was really nice to speak some Dutch and last night they invited me for dinner. So it was really lovely. And uh, yeah, I really enjoyed my stay here. But today I am riding again. And it's gonna be a busy day because I have three places I want to see on the way. So I'll slowly make my way back to the border with Georgia. Uh, but tonight I'll stay one more night in Armenia. So yeah, I'll show you on the map uh, where I'm gonna go. And then I'm quickly gonna pack my bag and then uh, hit the road. So I am now here about 40 kilometers, I think, from Yerevan. And I'm gonna pass Yerevan uh, via the north. And then I'll be riding somewhere to this area, <laughs> somewhere around there. So yeah, my first thought was to ride into Yerevan or do a day trip to Yerevan or something like that. But I decided against it because it is really, really hot around here. And just riding around the city in this heat with my full gear is just going to be torture, riding in traffic and all of that. And what I've heard, Yerevan is a very modern city, um, quite pretty, but there's not really so much to see. So I decided to just skip the city and just keep riding more in nature and try to find some mountains or something because I will enjoy it so much better than uh, riding in a busy city in the heat. So yeah, let's go! Cool! Enjoy your trip! You too! Bye! Gekhard Monastery, but um, 
yeah I don't feel like getting off and explore because now it's actually still a little bit cool it's not so hot yet and if I start walking around here then uh, it's gonna be unbearable uh, for the next of the ride How are you? Good? Um, benzene. benzene. Uh, full. So that is the Ambert Castle and they don't really know when it was built uh, but some historics say it's probably from the Bronze Age, it's super old and it was built by a princess uh, as a key defense structure and the view is just amazing and just over there all the way down in the valley that's Yerevan. So now I'm back in the mountains again because this morning when I left I was at 1800 meters then when I went down towards Yerevan I don't know exactly the altitude on Yerevan, but it's just riding again into an oven and then I started climbing again and now it's actually quite cool so it's really nice to be around here. So I'm gonna backtrack a little bit and then I continue to a small lake called Lake Kari which I think is a little bit further into the mountains so yeah let's go! So I reached uh, Lake Kari, it looks a little bit different <laughs> than what I imagined but uh, doesn't matter, the road up here was just so much fun to ride, really really awesome and yeah suddenly I'm standing in snow again, really quickly so yeah I was just climbing and climbing all the time and yeah coming from Yerevan it's just so nice to be in the fresh air, it's really really beautiful around here so i'm gonna continue the ride um my guess is that from now it's about 100 to 150 kilometers uh, because when i left this morning the total of today was about 230 kilometers or something so i'm making pretty good progress what time is it yeah it's one o'clock now um, oh, I think I'm gonna have uh, uh, the bread that I brought this morning from uh, 3GS that Sandra gave me. Have here my little lunch break and then uh, continue the ride. So this is what I uh, took this morning from the breakfast table. So 
some bread with jam and chocolate muffin and uh, just now uh, this man gave me some uh, cherries as well so that's super nice <laughs> so yeah hello hello I want me drive you bike <laughs> no 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 <laughs> not today Norali. 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 Mishnik. Mishnik. Hello, Kazarian. Why? 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 Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Ni galod, ni chleb yes. Kushet, hochis. Kushet. Yes, yes, hochis. Ah, kushet. I have food. I have. have. Thank you. Vodka, budish. Vodka. Нет, нам все есть кушать. Нам все есть. Кушать у нас есть. Я не знаю, это что. Хороший. Окей. Okay. 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 У нас хороший. Не понимаю, что скажешь. Окей. Спасибо. До свидания. And it tasted like that was like 90% alcohol or something. <laughs> That's crazy. Bye! So, this is a little bit typical. Apparently, somewhere around here, I'm close to a small town called Artik, which is over there. And somewhere around here, there is this super awesome thing, unique in the world, I believe. And if you follow Ness daily, he did an item on it. And so somewhere there is a hill where it looks like the road is going up but in fact it's going down so it's an optical illusion and uh, I got the coordinates of where it was supposed to be but I don't know <laughs> I'm riding around and I cannot find it and this morning uh, Sandra even gave me a tennis ball 
so I could show you that it looks like the road's going up and then if you put the ball then you'll see it will going down but I cannot find it it's supposed to be this road I think but this is going down I don't know I, I'm confused anyway it doesn't really matter it's pretty cool riding around here it's super beautiful it's 35 kilometers to Gyumri from here which is where I'm planning to stay the night all right <laughs> let's go in Park there? Yeah. yeah? You are from Burkina? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Noralee. Martin. Hi. Nice to meet you. So that was it for today. I had a really nice day. I saw a lot. Drank some vodka. Okay, about that. <laughs> Uh, it was so funny that those two shepherds immediately uh, offered me vodka. It's quite typical. And in situations like that, it's always like, Okay, you want to be polite and don't decline and drink and everything, but obviously I don't drink while riding. Um, so yeah, I, I just took like one little sip and then I thought, oh wow, it tasted like pure alcohol to me. And then I gave it back. They were a little bit disappointed. I think that I didn't drink the whole shot, but I was like, there's no way I'm going to drink uh, one full shot of vodka while I'm still riding. But anyway, it was a really nice encounter and... Uh, I really enjoyed my day, so I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And then I'll see you in the next video. Bye.